Hey, Gordon! The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's pretty, though. Clearly it has different architecture than everything around it. Alright, so I'm gonna crouch. The trigger. Look up a little bit. Hit that trigger. So this is... Oh, cool. Look at the birds. I never saw that before. Uh, this is roughly where the action starts. So I'm gonna take a break, make sure everything is going well, and then hopefully uh, I will see you right back here. Alright, we are resuming this playthrough of Half-Life 2 with uh, my new Steam controller. This will probably begin uh, the area of testing to see if this thing is really effective. We're going to be getting to some light combat. Uh, mostly in the immediate future I'm going to be dodging uh, shots from people I can't get to. Uh, so hopefully I can blitz across this uh, uh, small train yard down here. Let's get going. Let's see if I can... Okay, yeah. I used the uh, Steam controller to navigate the menu, which is good. Let's jump. Look around. Another one of those guys. Find the buttons that do the stuff. I'm not really expecting to find my share, but I just wondered it out. Going this way, they're shooting at me from up there. Okay, you would have thought I'd remember the correct way to go. Dodging a little bit back and forth. Let's jump. Let's start swinging. Oop, train. So, I could race it down that direction. That's the way I'm going. But I'm going low risk. Dude up the top right. This. There. Up. Ladder. This allows me to jump the fence. Okay, here's a health kit. Nice. I was down a whole three points. I was messing with crouch there. Crouch is kind of a weird button. It's the it's when you press the left analog stick. Route Canal. Alright, yeah, I'm down a whole one. I lost quite a bit of uh, no, suit energy, but no, that's what it's there for. Got him. Got him. They'll be looking for you now. You'd better run. There's nothing else you can do here. Get me a crowbar. Right trigger. Crouch. Right trigger. Stand. It's dark, and I just learned to use the flashlight, so I might as well look around. There, let's however okay. For that range, let's use this guy. Drop some life, it looks like. Unit done at intake a bit faster. Let's give me my pistol back. And with this in mind, I'm going to save. What button is escape? I don't know, so I'm gonna actually put the controller down and save and the new save game. Let's again use the 
mouse to do that. And then we're going to be getting into some light combat. What was reload? Pretty birds. So, I'll do this like the person newly exposed to this game might be. So we come over here, we go, oops, okay, that's a block. And you turn around and there's a train coming this way. I've done this a few times so I know to jump up here. to jump, but luckily all I had to do was fall off. Jump. Jump. They're over to the left, and I'm going to ignore them. The only reason to fight them is for the ammo. The crowbar. Back my pistol. We're going to spend a couple bullets. That thing and a second it'll explode. A waste of health kit on two points. I'm sure the Underground Railroad appreciates that. Alright, and these boxes with the labels on the side, I guess looking at them now they say supply. Those are the ones that uh, actually have gear in them. Ammo. Two clips worth. Pistol. Use. No, that's... Flashlight. There we go. Nope. Jump. Lamba. I mentioned the other playthrough that th these are basically like the symbols that the railroad leaves behind so that you know uh, either there's gear or in this case it's a, an exit out of here. So I'm going to crouch. Let's turn on the flashlight to see what we're doing. Okay, let's go back to the crowbar so I can beat the supply crate. Let's turn the light off. Let's Lamba Locator. Okay, so the achievement is like finding, um... Finding all these stashes. Let's see that guy. Let's see if I can line up a headshot. I can line up two headshots. I could use some target practice, I suppose. Let's reload before he appears again. If I can use my controller properly. Got him. Got him in the leg. Let's reload. I wonder if these guys just keep coming. Maybe. So let's just move on. I'm spinning ammo without getting any back. Oops, hurt myself. That's gonna go f on fire. Behind me there. Let's pick this up before it walks too close to me. I think there's still some dudes up here. And we hear train. I risk going out there for just a second. So, I, that ammo would have probably still been there after the train, but I had time and I wasn't sure. So I did. Let's reload. Got some energy. 15 of it. Dude. Let's go ahead and fill back up on health. Um, 
that's the flashlight. care that much. Uh, crowbar. Shoot. Crouch. And then one crouch. Give me a pistol back. And we're down on the other side of this thing. And they hiked off. Oh, they went around. Let's reload that. Looks like I'm maxed on ammo. Oh, here we go. Got him. Got him. Reload. I'm pretty sure there's some guy on the top right. Oops. Okay, I remember this part. Just not at first. So let's figure out how swimming works, shall we? That aux power. At the bottom left is how much oxygen I have. It's, for example, uh, how do I go up? Okay, that'll work. You gotta surface every now and then. Uh, to get oxygen. If that ox power gets all the way down to zero, then it'll start subtracting from your health. Uh, but when you exit the water, when you get uh, a good supply of oxygen, that health that you lost will regenerate back up to whatever the health was when you uh, started swimming. Minus like any damage you might have taken. So we're going through here. crouching for a second there, so let's get on this ladder. <gasps> Good God! I guess those sirens are for you, huh? Good thing you found us. You're not the first to come through here by- This is the free man. The Combine's reckoning has come. Look, we're just a lookout for the Underground Railroad. Main station's right around the corner. They'll get you started on the right foot. Meanwhile, let my Vortigaunt friend here give you a jolt to get you going. So notice my energy went up by 30. Be careful now. We really can't afford to get noticed. Civil protection catches you down here. It's bad news for the whole railroad. We serve the same mystery. So, Vortigaunts... Or some of the aliens you fought against uh, in Half-Life 1, so I didn't play all the way through Episode 2, but uh, it makes you wonder what changed. Like, what switched that around? They didn't, they never talk either, it was just like garbledygook. Anyway. Attention. Unidentified person. 
I don't know why I can't shoot. All right, there's there's sprint. Okay, there it goes. I don't know what was happening there. Maybe like two buttons pressed at once. Pressure relieved and it, the whole thing collapses. Sucks to be him. Let's get back onto the pistol. Oop. Bullets somewhere. Oh, I remember this part. That's one of those mounted machine guns. But you don't charge. So you duck into this. This is the guy that we just saw shot. Reload real quick. And then we will try and catch someone unawares. Okay. A lot of energy. This is Station 8. We heard 12 go down and out. The surgical strike units are targeting railway stations. Repeat, civil protection is coming down on underground stations. We're already getting refugees from 9 and outlying. Looks like we're... Station 8, do you copy? Station 8, are you there? We have confirmed reports of man hacks. Repeat, they're filling the underground with man hacks. Ominous. Um, I think I still have to use the keyboard to, to uh, bring up the menu. I'm going to save the game in a new save game. And I think that works just fine. What we're going to do here is come up on the other side of this machine gun that I was avoiding before. And we can do that to clear it out. And we can use button. This thing basically has unlimited ammo. Oh hey. Get rid of that quick. So this is one of the first few stand and deliver ones with a whole bunch of enemies. It's proving to be pretty tough. Saw a guy in the top right. Looks like they're about to push those things off. I mean, I'm gonna have to watch. Get what the deal was here. Oh, okay. Jump over that. Hopefully it won't explode on me. And this will allow me to progress. Let's reload. Here's another Lamba thing. Can I use it? Maybe... Oh, here K. Here K isn't a word. It's, uh, like, here we go and okay. 
Duck, trigger, health, that I have an abundance of. Stand up, look around for other stuff. Jump, jump. So, you saw it with the raven. Uh, you touch this uh, tongue of theirs, it'll lift you up and kill you. So you can spin ammo on it, or you can be aware of them and not run into them. They're pretty gross, too. The way they die. Yep, messed up. Reload. How do I get over there? Over here. Keep going, friend. That station was raided, but there's others up ahead. I'm gonna stay here in case any others come through. Gotta keep the railway alive. People full of hope. Oh, I remember this part. I guess I didn't have to do that. I always got cocky when I was playing through it uh, with a mouse. Yeah, this part's awesome. having. Let's go through here, give me my pistol back. Reload that. And once again, I'm capped at 150. Oh, that was zoom. If I hold down the uh, uh, mouse pad thing, I'll do this. Get caught next to it when they're firing at me. Anyway, pull up. Definitely. I guess I'm really good on the ammo thing. So to a certain extent I could... I'm prepared to find out. Alright, what's over here? Two clips. Bullets. Down from the crowbar. Crouch. Shoot. Stand. Pistol. That was cool. Okay. So load. Let's figure out where I need to go next. Crouch under this. Looks kind of low. How about up? Jump. My hunch says. Actually, can I get up on the. There's some stairs, like, up on the level up there. My hunch is that it's something over here. Because this was blocked by uh, this bridge full of explosives. 
Mm. The left is where I came from. Those two bullets back. Don't see. Oh, here we go. Crouch. I don't know what kind of barrels these are. They look like normal barrels. Yeah, they're not explosives. They will, however, mess. with the weird tongue guys, and I do believe they were both fighting over the same one for a second. Alright, so, with that in mind, these are explosive barrels. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna set them on fire. They may have actually been too soon. Eh, they got all the scraps. Alright, so this is our chance to get it. Go that. Pull my mouse. I think I got it. Gross, right? Yeah, when they were tracked up like that. That means you got them. But it looks like I haven't gotten all of them. Because there's one right here. Load that. And crowbar. Duck. Shoot. Ammo and 47 energy is actually very good. Oh no, someone's shooting at me. Look at that awesomeness. Floating in the water. It's not worth, uh... Ow. That hurt quite a bit. But I'm gonna keep going. Up. Um, down. Get through here. up. There's the ladder. I think I'm actually going to re- well, no, I keep going. I was just a bit upset about losing my beautiful suit ammo. But I'm not in danger of dying. Up. This guy died with a health kit and I'm full of ammo. Oh. Just some barrels. Yeah, that, that suit energy had lasted me all the way since the Vortigon. Alright, we are going to get to our first real physics problem. It was a big deal uh, back in 2004, the game focusing this much on physics. So, for right now, I'm going to take a little bit of a break, make sure the recording's been going well. Thanks for watching this playthrough of Half-Life 2 with the new Steam Controller.